Meme coins are everywhere and you want them. So I'm going to show you how you can set up the Telegram bot for Flocky so you can trade them and get them as soon as possible. First up, Twitter. Flocky trading bot is officially live on mainnet. So this covers BNB, Ethereum and Base. And it will also cover other EVM chains and Solana in the near future. I use Bonkbot. However, BNB and Base, this is certainly what I'm using. Some of the key features are super fast token purchases. You can buy the hype token launches in a few taps. You can create up to five wallets and you can easily withdraw the funds from the bot to a third party wallet. The first step is to click the link below, then click open Telegram desktop. And this here is the bot. The first thing you have to do is actually set some things up and then it'll generate an address for you, which is right here. You then go to your MetaMask or Rabi wallet and you send funds to this address just by copying it and then sending through some BNB. Initially, while you're getting used to this, send a little bit of BNB first as soon as it comes in and you know that it's good, then you can send more. To change the blockchain, click current chain and change this from BNB to Ethereum or base. You can see on base, it's the same address, but I have no base Ethereum. I'll update the chain, go back to BNB smart chain and then return to the main menu. You probably only need one wallet initially, but if you want to, you can go to manage wallets and then here you can generate a new wallet like that. And then if you want to, you can set it as my primary wallet, but we'll go back because we have funds in this wallet right here. Now, when it's time to buy something, we need to get the contract address of whatever we're trying to buy. And we need to make sure our settings are good. So some places you may want to look at is birdeye.so and then just click on BNB chain. Also dexscreener.com, then click on BSC, which is Binance Smart Chain. And then you can work out what kind of meme coin you're after or just what kind of token you're after in general. So as an example, over here, we've got Flocky and Token. If I click on Flocky, I can see the fully diluted market cap is 1.2 billion. So this is highly likely going to be the correct one. Otherwise, I can go and double check it at CoinMarketCap or CoinGecko. If I'm at CoinMarketCap, what I need to do is just grab the contract address. So here it says Flocky, scroll on down and then click more. And this right here, this is a BNB smart chain. Copy that. This is the address. You can see it ends in 37E. And if we double check here, it's also ending in 37E. Now to buy, we just come and click on trading bot, click buy token and just paste in the address and push enter. Now we can put in how much we want. So like 0.1 BNB, just click that. The transaction has been submitted and we've now purchased $54 worth of Flocky. Let's return to the main menu. Now here it shows your position. When you want to sell this, just click on trading bot, then click sell token, and you can just click Flocky or another token as an example. Now let me show you how you can update your slippage and your settings. So come down to settings and we can add slippage tolerance, click here, and it's currently set to 2%. Now for a brand new token, 2% may be fine. And essentially, if you're buying $1,000 worth of a token and there's 2% of slippage, then you're going to lose $20 or at least up to $20. If you want to change it to 5%, then you'll be risking losing $50 in value. However, it's more likely that your transaction will go first, or at least it will go through in the first batch of transactions, especially for a new token. There's lots of things to consider when you're talking about slippage, but essentially for a brand new token, some people even set it as high as 20%, but that can be extremely risky. I'm going to update this to 5% and then just push enter. And now we can see some random meme coin that is suggested that we buy. We definitely will not be doing that. We'll go to menu and we'll just go back to manage wallets. And then from here, return to main menu. The next thing we can do is go back to settings and we can change the transaction speed. So click on transaction speed and we've got three options. We pay a little bit more BNB or on ETH or base, a little bit more ETH. If we want to go with fast or immediate. Immediate is what we normally always keep it on. We pay a little bit more fees, but it works out better for us. With this bot, there's no way for us to pay any more gas fees. In 2021, I remember some people going into hype launches with $100 in gas ready to be deployed in case that managed to get them into that immediate block. However, with this bot, we cannot do that. Let me show you how to buy one more token. We'll go into trading bot again. We'll go back to BirdEye. I'm going to buy some token here and then this address. Copy that address. Double check the fully diluted market cap and the actual token to make sure it is the legitimate token. Come back to Telegram, buy token, paste it push enter, and then we can buy whatever amount we want. So something like 0.05, not very much, but that's fine. Push enter. And that transaction has been submitted. Let's click on this quickly. When we have a look at BSC scan, which is similar to soul scan or something like that on Solana, we can see it use pancake swap, which is like a DEX to take BNB into token fi. We can see a few different things here. Ultimately, there is a fee. 
the Flocky Telegram bot does take a fee. And then we can see the gas price down here, which is 22 cents, which is pretty average on BNB. Now that we've got two tokens, I'm gonna to go and return to the main menu and I'm gonna go and sell one of them. So back to trading bot, sell token. And here we can see the two different tokens or another token, token, and we can select how much we wanna sell, a custom amount, 100%, 25%, etc. I'll go with sell all. And that transaction has been submitted. Now, if you have a look at this, this can be a little bit confusing because it says that we swapped $27 worth of a token for 69 cents of BNB. This explorer is a little bit more difficult, but if you scroll on down, right down to the bottom here, and then just scroll this, you should see the total amount that you actually got. And then if you have a look in your bot, you can see it right here. Now, how do you buy a token that hasn't been released yet? If we go to Twitter and have a look at Simon's Cat, we can see this post here with Flocky, and then there's a blog post here. Have a look at here and come on down and we can find this contract address. If we click on this contract address, this takes us to BSC scan. You can see the token has been created. However, there is no liquidity set up, so we can't actually buy it yet. So if I go and copy this right here, then come back here and go buy token and then paste in what I wanna buy, you can see there's zero liquidity. So we have to wait until the liquidity pool goes live and we have to make sure that we're putting in the correct contract address because for hype launches, there will be a lot of scammers out there faking with different contract addresses in order to try and take away your liquidity. So double check that and get ready to buy as soon as it goes live. And that's how you set up the Flocky Telegram trading app. For more information on meme coins or in particular, the Simon's Cat meme coin that I referenced, check out the video linked after this.